Hello everyone, it's Qho again. What did you think of the previous video? Please leave us a note if you have any feedbacks or suggestions. So today we're going to learn about the probe system. As you can see on the right bottom, the probe system is consisted of a probe head, probe auto joint adapter, probe sensor, stylus. First of all, the probe head. The probe head determines the probe position and it has two angles which is A and B. Okay, let's take a look at this video. I'm going to show you how the angles are working. The first A angle. 90 degrees of A angle. You can see it goes swinging up and down. And the B angle, it rotates the right and left or left and right. If you put it as a positive degrees, it turns anticlockwise. And if you put it negative degrees, it turns clockwise. Also, angle A it can be adjusted to 105 degrees. And the B angle is, can be adjusted by 180 degrees. Now back to angle A00. And the next auto joint can be installed depending on the type of probe head. And we get to the details of probe sensors after a few slides. At last, what stylus does is making contact with part and then it delivers the pressure to the sensor and then it detects the signal. And there are two types of automated probe head. First, PH10M, uh, which means it's multi wire probe, which can support touch trigger sensors and scanning sensors and laser probes. But PH10T is the thread type, so it only supports sensor. That is touch trigger sensor and PAA can be attached. A manual probe head, it has lever on the side. Every time you change the angles of probe, you have to unlock it first and then adjust the angles and then lock it. Then good to use. And then the next probe sensor. Touch trigger probe sensors, TP2 is no longer available. It has been discontinued for a long time. So move on to TP20. It consists of body and module. Each module has different trigger pressure and uh, the caps are colored differently as well. TP200. It detects the touch signal with the strain gauge, so it is more accurate than TP20. High precision compared to TP2 and TP20. And the scanning probe sensor. SP25M is commonly used, it's very compact as well, and it supports touch and scanning as well. High precision compared to touch trigger series, consists of body, module, and the holder. So the stylus is actually attached on the holders. And here you can see error and pressure of Reni Show trigger probes. Please refer to this specification and if you need further information, you can visit Reni Show's official website. And the last, stylus. Let's look at the characteristic. Stylus also refers to probe commonly. And the ball type is commonly used. So the ball material is ruby. So the ball size is uh, supported by 0.3 and 8 diameter and M2 thread range is supported by touch trigger sensors. Stem material is still tungsten ceramic carbon. That means this part. So A stands for ball diameter, B stands for overall length. Remember the overall length is on from center of the ball to the end of the stylus. And C stands for stem diameter, D 
D stands for effective working length. So there are various type of stylus, commonly used ball probes and disc probes, the lender types, also this one. Okay, that's it for now. I'll be back with you guys in next video. Thanks for watching.